let's say we have the function f of x is equal to 4 all over 3x squared minus 5 all raised to the fourth power. So many of you probably see that we do have a parentheses followed by an exponent, but it is in the denominator. So you're probably confused, how do we use the chain rule? What we want to do is we want to take this parentheses with an exponent, and we want to bring it into the numerator. Um, so instead of having a positive exponent in the denominator, uh, we're going to rewrite it with a negative exponent in the, in the numerator. So I'm going to rewrite this as 4 and the parentheses 3x squared minus 5 is going to have a negative exponent in the numerator. So now we have a parentheses followed by an exponent. So now we can use the chain rule. Uh, so let's just get started uh, with this derivative. Our derivative is going to be, and before I get started, I'm just going to copy and paste to save a little bit of time. So our first step using the chain rule is we want to bring the exponent to the front. So I'm going to take my negative 4 exponent and I'm going to take it and multiply it in the front. And I'm going to put a little dot in between the negative 4 and positive 4 just to show that they're being multiplied by each other. Step number two, uh, the parentheses stay the same. Uh, so the inside of the parentheses, 3x squared minus 5, stays the same. Then we need to subtract the exponent by 1. Since there's a negative 4 exponent in our original function, negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5. Uh, there's going to be a negative 5 exponent in our derivative. So moving on to our last step, we got to multiply by the derivative of the inside of the parentheses. Uh, the inside of the parentheses is 3x squared minus 5. Uh, the derivative of 3x squared minus 5 is just 6x. So I'm going to multiply everything by 6x. Now we have taken the derivative using the chain rule. So now we just need to simplify this as much as possible. Um, the first thing we could do is we can multiply the negative 4 times the positive 4. And that gives us a negative 16. The inside of the parentheses cannot be simplified, so that stays the same. And we can't forget about the 6x. And this can be simplified even further. The negative 16 can be multiplied by the 6x. And negative 16 times 6x is just negative 96x. And it's always improper to leave a negative exponent in your final answer. Uh, so instead of a 3x squared minus 5 with a negative 5 exponent in the numerator, I'm going to write it as a positive 5 exponent in our denominator. So I'm just going to rewrite it 3x squared minus 5 with a positive 5 exponent in the denominator. Now we have completely taken the derivative using the chain rule. So here are some more videos with some more example problems related to the video you just watched. I really hope you're finding my tutorials helpful. So until my next video, I will see you later.